in this tutorial we are going to set up our file. I made a folder on my desktop, that's where I work best, um, as you can see by all the clutter. Uh, so my folder, I want to make sure I'm speaking to it. So I'm going to go to my desktop, um, or you can see the Bamford docs, but in just in case you don't know, I went to my desktop. On my desktop, I found my folder and I chose it. Okay. Uh, please, please, please try and keep this as detailed as you can. Uh, use your theme, Banfield Community, Fishing, Hoyot People, and then add your name, okay? So that it is as detailed as it can be. We captured an HDB, something to know, HDB. Okay, then it's gonna ask us some more information as we set up our composition. Right now it's just kind of an empty screen. So we need to make a new sequence, new sequence. The sequence is HDV 1080i uh, 30, which is my video one. Some people were filming in a 60, I don't. Yeah, I use 1080i, uh, so it's interlaced i. Uh, sequence one, you can call it the same name. So mine was the Banfield Community. Community underscore s -cox. It's as detailed as you can be. So if you don't see the HDTV thing, select the HDV and you'll see HDB. And EDI. Okay, good so far. Uh, when you have stuff to add to your library, you go Command I for import, or you can go File, Import. Uh, I put all my video already in my folder. I try and keep things as together as they can be. Um, I like to import everything at once. I just did some other editing already, so ignore that. Uh, and it all gets imported into my library. Uh, it might take a second, they're big files. Be mindful of that. So, once they're in here, I'm going to show you how to add your video and how to add your pictures. So, under my project tab, if you don't see that, you go window project. Here are all my videos. So, if it says .mov, it's a movie. If it says .jpeg, it's a picture. Okay. For your .mov, you should be able to just drag it onto your clip. You can keep this existing settings, and there is your video. Okay, straightforward. I have my clip in. What I would like you to do is scale the clip. We're not talking about audio yet. We're not talking about stabilizing. We're just making sure that the clip is actually the length of it. So, on your side here, you have some tools. If you know that I want starting at this shot, once he's turned the camera around, right, 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 right there. I'm going to use my razor blade. I'm going to cut, go back to my selection. I don't need the beginning anymore. Bam. Oh, hello. Did not know both. Uh, cut and delete. Okay. So I'm going to move those back to the beginning. That's what I need. And then I'm going to have it until, again, the camera turns. Voila. Perfect. Razor blade. Cut. Cut. Gone. Okay, so that's the clip I want from that. My picture, I'm going to bring that in further down. Picture has to go in an image layer. It's not audio, image. Uh, it defaults to a certain size, if length. If you want it longer, you extend it. If you want it shorter, you shorten it. It's, I think it's five seconds a clip. If you're at a picture and you think, my picture is not the same size as my video, how do I make it the same size? I can clearly see here there's more. Uh, that's fine. A video picture, don't... To capture at the same rate, um, but this is all my video is. So what you have to do is you go over here, make sure your clip is selected, not selected, selected. See, stuff shows up, stuff doesn't. And you select this little box. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so it's easier to see, and I'll have to scale it down. Okay. Uh, please, 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 please don't try and make it fit perfectly the height or the width, depending on which way you captured. Um, fill the frame. So if that's my thing, I'm going to make the picture a little bigger uh, and then I can decide if I really would like to have more of the space. See, I can move it up so I have more space down or more space that way. I can decide. I think this has better rule of thirds. So I'm going to go down. But don't have bars anywhere. So you will have to lose some of the picture. I clearly have lost more at the bottom. That's okay. 
No one else knows that but you. Again, decide how long you're going to have that clip for. So currently, it starts at 52 and it goes to 102. That's a 10 second clip. Really long time, so I'm going to compress it. So all you're doing in this tutorial is importing your video, scaling your clips to the parts you want. It's not in order yet. I haven't edited the audio. I haven't stabilized anything. But all my content is in here. That's what you're going to do right now.